So this is your da daily read. This will be for May the 29th, 2020. Y'all, May is almost. Goodness. All right, so let's see what messages we have. Summarizing and Venus. <clears throat> What guidance do you have for Gemini? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Message of guidance for Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right. We have Angel of Soul Love. It says time to look at how you value yourself. You could be dealing with issues with self issues of self love. Okay. Message of guidance for Libra. So, I knew that was gonna happen. I was trying to prevent it from happening. Anyway. Angel of Prayer. It says, ask the universe and the angels for help and guidance. Okay. So messages we have for Aquarius. We got Angel of Vision. It says, someone is not revealing part of the story. Trust your feelings over what others say. I've been saying that a lot lately. So some of y'all are dealing with some liars. Or you can be the liar. You know, it could be you. Anyway, <laughs> the underlying message we have is Angel of Expression. It says, speak your truth and express yourself clearly. All right. What messages, what guidance do we have? This is for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. This is for May 29th, 2020. Messages, guidance. Bring me a bottle of water for Gemini. Hold on a second. <laughs> Hold on. All right. Libra and Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What guidance do we have? For Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. This is for May 29th, 2020. Moon rising. Had such high vibrations. <laughs> Ten of Wands here. So some of you guys, this is some burdens or some oppression dealing with either something you're investing your time, energy, attention in, or your job. Nine of Wands here. That Nine of Wands represents needing to have strength, needing to have courage. Queen of Wands. So some of you guys, this is about finding the courage to move in a different direction, laying down some burdens that you've invested your time and your energy in. Four of Pentacles here. I feel like this is about you standing firm within your own foundation. Some of you guys could be holding back, really in the space of really trying to think things through in your head. Um... You could be in hermit mode right now, but really needing to find your strength to move in a different direction. So some of you guys are feeling oppressed, feeling burdened, maybe by having to make some decisions or you're just trying to hold things together. All right. So we have the eight of swords here. I feel like you're trying to hold things together because there's a lack of confidence in you being able to manifest anything else or you being able to move forward. Three of Wands here with the Five of Swords. I feel like having patience or waiting is an unwise decision right now. I do feel like you need to find the strength to move forward. Find the strength to lay down the burden so that you can make adjustments to your own foundation. Six plus four is ten pentacles. So this, in order for you to with himself, okay. He said it real close to my microphone. Okay. In order to find wealth within yourself, meaning in order to understand your self-worth, I feel like you need to find your motivation to move forward. Like stop underestimating your abilities to stand on your own two feet is what it's looking like here. So we have the hangman here. You definitely need to be in a space of changing your perspective. Queen of Cups here. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're really in suspension. You're needing to be more nurturing to yourself, to your own esteem your own will all right so let's see here we got nine of wands first card out why is this nine of wands here why is this nine of wands here we got the sun card in reverse so a lot of you guys are persistent and not seeing the reality of a situation three of wands trying to have patience magician here um so I feel like a lot of you guys, because of either some memories of the past, or you're holding on to something in the past, you could be in a space of not understanding that you're holding on to something that is oppressing you or holding on to something that is keeping you restricted. Um, so I do feel like it is going to require you some strength to see clearly. Sun in reverse, you're not seeing clearly at the moment. You're not happy either. Um, so in order for you to really find what makes you happy, you got to stop underestimating your own abilities. Really be in a space of getting out of suspension. By being nurturing to yourself and making a loving decision for yourself and not 
putting anyone else's emotions or desires in the mix. So we have the Queen of Wands here. Knight of Pentacles here. Now I feel like for a lot of you guys, you could be holding on. You, you could know that someone is pretty much seducing you or manipulating you. Yeah, five one seven swords here. So the, the external factor may be, for a lot of you guys, it may be the responsibility that someone has um, to something else. Or seven of swords, queen of wands, five of wands, there's someone else um, here that is conflicting a situation and I'm gonna be real with you from what I see here it may not necessarily be another person I got two women here so it could be another person um, but it also could be your own opposing energies because you're in a space of really needing to be nurturing to yourself needing to be um, driven to move forward but you're kind of holding back very much inside of yourself, very much feeling burdened, feeling conflicted, um, having a lot of unstable thoughts. You, I feel like you need to just let go of whatever you're holding on to and understand that moving out of the suspension will grant you what it is you desire. So four of pentacles here. <clears throat> Why is this four of pentacles here? Why is this four of pentacles here? We have three of cups here with the seven of pentacles. Ooh, so some of you guys may have been in yeah some of you guys either you're holding on to seven pinnacles can sometimes be investing in barren land meaning investing in something that won't have any growth to it um for a lot of you guys you could be at a stalemate could be at a stalemate with a third party. There's three people here. I mean, there's two women here. There's three cups here. Ten of wands. Someone could be feeling burdened. Could be feeling restricted in suspension here. Dealing with um, family issues. Maybe not confident about making any changes. I feel like someone's holding back. Somebody's holding back. They're at a delay. Because of it looks like someone else or something else. If it's not another person, it's something that creates an obstacle within a connection or within like a job. Because this could be this could be at work. You could be burdened by work situations, feeling like your hands are tied, really needing to be nurturing and find your motivation to move forward. So some of you guys, this could be even. And I know right now people don't want to hear finding another job because they're just opening up the world. Um, but you could very well. I mean, it's, it's, it's really is a good time because a lot of people are hiring, um, trying to get people back into the workforce, but it's not a good time because it's still not safe. <laughs> so with the, um, so, you know, maybe that's the conflict. Maybe you, you want to get back into the workforce, but you feel like, you know, it's not the right time or it's not safe. Um, I do feel like you're in suspension because there is something that needs to be seen from a different perspective whether this is a relationship or this is a like employer employee relationship hermit here could be dealing with a virgo i just hermit here we have the ace of pentacles tower with the king of cups so i feel like for a lot of you guys you're really inside of yourself you're really in the the depths of yourself i feel like you see or you realize that you have an opportunity for a new life if you extend yourself forward meaning if you move forward away from your current relationship or if you move forward away from your current job um but you feel like your hands are tied you feel restricted um some of you guys do have a new opportunity and some of you guys, it is romantic. <laughs> Others of you, it is a financial opportunity, a job or something like that, that holds some type of emotional fulfillment to you. So, or could, could, it's an opportunity for it. So we have Eight of Swords here. Why is this Eight of Swords here? Full energy here. Some of you guys are lacking the confidence of taking the leap of faith, moving forward here to create changes within your life. You're almost resistant to it. Even though Queen of Swords, you see the truth of Ace of Wands, a new opportunity. You guys, I feel like I got, I know yesterday I did a collective reading. Y'all, my yesterday was, whew. Um, yeah, before the collective reading, I did a reading and it was talking about being happy about change. So I do feel like there's changes that are occurring. I feel like you have these new opportunities, but you feel like your hands are tied um, either because of some responsibilities or you could be like having a lot of things that are going on within your life. Usually in the midst of things falling into order, 
I'm sorry. Usually in the midst of things falling into order, you'll experience a lot of chaos right before then. Because chaos, you know, chaos, in order to have order, there must have first been chaos. So for a lot of you guys, you have to go through these situations where I feel like everything is just everything so that things can fall into place how they need to be. It's almost like that last minute scramble before the bell ring and you got to be in your class for school, you know, even though I was late <laughs> but it's like that you know when when the bell ring everybody's scrambling trying to get to their seat so the energies i feel like for you guys are kind of scrambling right now so that everything can fall in place and for the last couple of days it seems like my readings to me have been all over the place and that may be why because it could be a lot of things going on so three of wands here I feel like for a lot of you guys, you do have to be in the space of having patience. Ace of Cups, you have an opportunity, Wheel of Fortune, oh, an opportunity that will help you grow into being fulfilled. You have an opportunity here for fulfillment. Ace of Cups is an opportunity to get to the Ten of Cups. Um, and I feel like the victory is growing, expanding, moving forward, Wheel of Fortune here. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you may feel burdened. Um, Either because of some changes that are happening or because you know that it's time for you to make some changes. You could be very much inside of yourself. Um, needing to focus on moving forward. Needing to gain your strength. I feel like if you have not moved forward or if you've been kind of stuck in the same place. You're going to be kind of prompt right now to realize what adjustments need to be made so that you can move forward. So we got the five of swords here. Why is this five of swords here? God damn it. We got the moon card. So I feel like for a lot of you guys, the your fear is causing you to feel conflicted within your thoughts. Four of swords here. Six of pentacles. Be in alignment with making the adjustments moving forward. Be in alignment with your own path. So for a lot of you guys, you, you've already discovered what needs to happen. Um, I feel like you're in suspension or you're at a stalemate until everything falls into place. Just gonna say have patience. I feel like you gotta have patience with yourself. So for a lot of you guys, this could even be you, because I, I got this message. It could even be you like overcoming, not overcoming, but healing from these previous lessons that you've learned and incorporating them within, you know, your memory. Your I don't know if it's genetic memory because I got genetic memory. So for a lot of you guys, this could be like correcting ancestral karma. Um, and it could take some time for things to fall into place the way they need to. So we have six of pentacles here. Why is the six of pentacles here? Why is the six of pentacles here? We got eight of swords here with the hierophant. So some of you guys, I feel like the adjustments are um, either your restriction by your beliefs some of you guys it's your own beliefs that are keeping you restricted um, from moving forward queen of swords here really needing to see things clearly be clear within your energy cut away things that do not four of cups make you happy so some of you guys are you feel like the interference in you being able to make um adjustments is either your belief that you'll be unhappy or because that that's a that's a motherfucking blockage within itself. If you feel like you're going to be unhappy, that's a blockage because you're going to be unhappy. You're already speaking it to, into existence. Or for others of you, there's an actual commitment that you've made, a job, a relationship, something that is making you unhappy, that is creating this sense of either burden, lack, um, oppression. It doesn't matter. Whatever it is, it's about removing those beliefs that make you unhappy in order for you to really make the adjustments that are necessary in order to get on this path that you are getting on i don't think it's an option anymore so four of so i mean uh shit i don't even see the four of swords so maybe that's a message <laughs> uh the four of swords represents being you know inside of yourself contemplating mentally finding stable thoughts um or stabilizing your thoughts Hey man here so maybe that's what's happening you need to really go within yourself so that you can be in alignment with your truths um five of wands here i feel like if you're having conflict either internally or externally this is why you're in suspension because it's time for you to eight of wands move forward it's time for you to invest in your own worth um become more loving more nurturing to yourself why is this queen of cups here why is this queen of cups here 
We got the two of swords here, ten of wands here. Somebody's setting, somebody's blocking out something. These are block cards. Um, I feel like you're. I feel like in this suspension, whatever you're going through, I feel like you're going to become more aware or enlightened about what is the actual conflict in your life because here the most love for you to be making a loving decision now you could be dealing with a water sign that you're in the space of blocking out feeling burdened wanting to set boundaries to that but for a lot of you guys this is your own energy of being loving nurturing to self with the two of swords ten of wands i feel like this is about you being you being at a stalemate feeling oppressed needing to gain control um that's the most loving decision that you can make for yourself is to be in the space of laying down some burdens, bringing peace of mind to yourself and setting boundaries to whatever situation that is bringing conflict or, or either external or internal conflict to your life. I feel like for a lot of you guys, like I'm telling you, this is about finding the strength to really lay down the burdens. That should be it. And some of you guys, this burden may be internally. It may be something that triggers you that you're having to really work your issues or work yourself through, you know. Let's see what messages for guidance. Signs moving forward, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Sun, rising, and Venus. What guidance do we have for Gemini? We got nurturing. So Gemini, right now, you do need to be in the space of nurturing your own foundation. Y'all, I got this, like, smoky black... Uh, nail polish on this like light gray i'll take it off i don't like the way it looks <laughs> um so let's see what messages we have for libra we have iceberg so i feel like for libra right now you're in a space of being submerged in either the depths of yourself or in a cold situation in order for you to see what is necessary to break free and flow what messages do we have for aquarius we have new beginnings. So Aquarius, you could be in a space of having a new beginning you know how early i told y'all y'all was um getting out of some generational stuff like some ancestral karma what you got up under there karma dna can you see that let me see i didn't mean to pause it but i really want y'all to see this bah, there we go so yeah i do feel like you're um overcoming karma some of you guys this karma may not even have any you may have already overcome a karma within a situation this could be internal meaning these are triggers that you have to overcome for yourself um, this is all I have. Until next time, y'all.